Evaluate the limit of sine 4x over x as x approaches 0. Now, if we use direct substitution here and try to plug in 0 for x, what we have is again 0 divided by 0. Okay, so that's indeterminate. We don't know. We don't know what the answer is. Okay, so what should we do? Well, maybe we can use a known result. We know that the limit of sine theta over theta as theta approaches 0 is equal to 1. Okay, we know that. So, how can we use that result to find the limit of this? Okay. Well, observe that here the argument of sine is theta and the denominator is also theta. Okay. The goal here is to try to make this and this equal. That means the argument of sine and the denominator equal. Okay. Because that's what we have here okay if we can do that then we can just use this result to find the limit okay so here our argument is for x our denominator is just x how do we make the denominator equal to 4x by multiplying 4 in the denominator and so since I multiplied 4 in the denominator, I'm also going to multiply 4 in the numerator, okay? So now, the limit becomes limit as x approaches 0. Then my numerator is 4 sine 4x. My denominator is 4x, okay? So now the argument and the denominator are equal. But what are we going to do with a 4 here? Okay, so since that is a constant and we know that we can just write that outside, just put it outside, the limit of a constant multiple, okay? Remember, we can treat this as one function and this one is a constant, so we can just take that out, okay? So then we can write that as 4 times the limit of sine 4x over 4x as x approaches 0 okay and that's exactly that's exactly this okay and we know that the limit is equal to 1 so therefore that's equal to 4 times the limit which is equal to 1 and finally that gives us 4 so the limit of sine 4x over x as x approaches 0 is equal to 4. Let's have another example. The limit of 6x over sine 3x as x approaches 0. Okay. So for this one, our sign is in the denominator. Okay. So uh, what should we do? Okay, what should we do? Again, we want to have something like this okay we want to have something like that and so we want our sign to have a denominator okay because currently the denominator of sine is assumed as one so sine 3x over one so we want that to become 3x okay so how do we make that into a 3x well we can just multiply again multiply that by 3x over 3x what this does is this is going to give us a 3x in the denominator of sine 3x so that is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 of 6x over we've got 3x times sine of 3x divided by 3x okay and that's exactly what we want this is what we want right because that looks like this okay so now we can separate that so let's write the limit as 
limit as x approaches 0 of 6x over 3x times and then that sine of 3x over 3x right there then uh, what can we do we can cancel out x and x here 6 divided by 3 is 2 so that's just gonna be 2 there okay so now what we have is limit as x approaches 0 of 2 over sine 3x over 3x okay then by the quotient rule or the division rule of finding limits then we can try to separate the limits okay so this one just equals the limit of 2 as x approaches 0 divided by the limit of sine 3x over 3x as x approaches 0 okay well we know what the limit of 2 is 2 is a constant so let's just 2 the limit of th sine 3x over 3x is 1 we know that so that's 1 there and so finally what we have is equal to 2